In the previous video, we looked at how to export a static model in, from Blender into Unity so that you don't get the weird rotation and scaling. Now I'm going to show you how to do that for a model with a basic armature on it. So this penguin here has uh, just about as simple of an armature as I could put for him. Um, and I added a couple keyframes so that when I press play, he'll, you know, he has a little animation on him here. So typically, if you export this, you would go to File, Export, FBX, and you would, I'm going to uncheck that because I was doing something else, you would export with the default settings. And what would end up happening, I, I've already exported this, so I'm not going to do this. I'm going to hop over to Unity, and I've imported this as if I had just exported it by default. You will find that the the armature here comes in and the top level item is rotated 0, 0, 0, and the scale is 1, 1, 1, which is good. But inside, the penguin itself is rotated at 89.98 and the scale is 100. And the same thing for this armature. Uh, underneath the armature, things look okay, but this might be a problem for you especially if you have a more complex armature and you need to move it around. So, back in here, there's one option that you may have already tried, and that is to apply transform. So, if you went to File, Export, FBX, and you wanted to use this checkbox here, um, this automatically came back, but if you check this and You'll notice it says experimental for a reason. It says warning because there's some known, it doesn't work quite right with armatures. You can export this, and I've already exported this once here to this armature EXP. And I'll hop back into Unity and try and show you what happens. So I'll import this new asset, um, import. And then if I put this in the scene, it looks okay. But if you go underneath this, you'll see that the penguin seems to have the rotation scale all right. But the armature, again, still has this rotation of negative 89.98 and 100 in each. Now, this might be okay for you because it's underneath the main item, but um, it may also cause problems with more complicated rigs. Fortunately, the animations on this seem to still work. Let me see if I can expand this. Um, so this may work for you, but if you need to have your armature uh, working properly, then we can get there. Get back into Blender, and what we're going to do is unparent this uh, mesh from the armature, and then apply the same technique we used for the static mesh, the, rotate, the rotation trick that I showed in the previous video. So what we need to do is do this unparent. So if we do, if we click on this one, and I'll add that if your uh, armature, the, if the bones are not visible, once you've selected it, you might have to select it in the hierarchy if you can't see it. If you go into this object data tab here with the little running guy symbol, and then you go to viewport display, you can check this in front and that'll help you see what's going on. You can also do axes, and that'll show you which what the orientation of the bone is, but we don't need that right now. So we're going to select this one, and then Shift select this other one. And then we're going to do Alt P, and we're going to clear parent and keep transformation. Okay, don't do any of these other ones. Make sure you do this keep transformation one. Okay, so what's important about that is it will not move the, the mesh back to where it was originally. The other good thing is even though we've cleared this parent, it keeps these vertex groups. So this is underneath this little uh, object data tab still. These vertex groups where it's linked to these bones that are in uh, the armature. Or, oh, I have the armature selected, that's why. Uh, in here, you'll notice on penguin, it keeps these. And these are linked by bone name, not by like an actual link to the bone. 
So these will stay so that when you reparent it, it comes back immediately. So we're going to select both. Um, and we're going to try and do this at the same time. And we want to rotate this along the x axis by negative 90. So I'm going to type in negative 90 and hit enter. Then we're going to go do control A to apply the rotation. Then we're going to do R, X, and then 90 and hit enter. We're not going to apply this time. Then I'm going to select the mesh first. So you'll notice that the bones are not selected. Then shift select these this armature. And then I'll hit control P to parent the first one we selected to the second one we selected. So we're parenting the mesh to the armature. And we're going to do this first one, armature deform. In the past, you may have done something like these empty groups or automatic weights. If you do that, it's going to reset all of those, uh, all of the weights that you applied so that when you rotate the arm and stuff, it won't be what it was before. So we want to just do this first option here, armature deform. Okay, and then you should be able to go into pose mode and just double check if I hit R and rotate this, this is back as it was. So I'll switch back into object mode. And then we can do our export. So we will make sure these are selected. We will export the FBX. And you may want to use selected objects or not. I don't think it matters in this case. We're not going to apply the transform here. But what we will do is apply scale and we'll use FBX unit scale. So I'm going to um, give this a name of penguin armature. Um, let's call it perfect. <laughs> I don't know if it's actually perfect, but it seems to work pretty well for what we want to do. So I'll go back into Unity, right click, import new asset, and we'll import penguin armature perfect. I'll drag him into the scene and all appears normal at the top level. We've got zeros and ones. That's good. Inside the mesh is also zeros and ones, and the armature is zeros and ones. So now we've got a mesh that is probably more what you were hoping for when you first set out to export an armature mesh.